suck me! Sunday is the Sabbath. Black Sabbath Sunday. Sunday is the Sabbath. Black Sabbath Sunday. Schmack a magab, everybody. It's another track by track for Mr. Gene Coolin. Who asked me to do L oh, is Black Sabbath Sunday. Dehumanizer versus the follow-up that we all know is really Black Sabbath. The devil you know from heaven and hell. A lot of people got a problem with this one. Which one do I like more? I do like this one more. But I love this album. It's dark, heavy, slow. I love it. It's got a little couple little faster ones, but. I still dig it, and I think it's an appropriate final album for Ronnie James. Um, so, let's do this, okay? So we got, uh, oh man, I'm not prepared here. Oh yes I am, here we go. Alright, so, um, Computer God versus Adam and Evil. I'm giving that one to Computer God. Alright. Then we got uh, After All the Dead versus Fear. I dig Fear, but After All the Dead is so awesome. I'm going to have to give it to that. All right, then we got um, TV Crimes versus Bible Black. Oh, that's a tough one. They're both awesome. <sighs> Bible Black by a little bit. Okay. Um, letters from Earth. All right, uh, double the pain, awesome. Letters from Earth, I'm giving it to that one. I that one's a dark horse on this album. Uh, I mean, this album. All right, uh, Master of Insanity versus Rock and Roll Angel. You know what? I'm gonna give that one to Rock and Roll Angel. I know it's kind of a lame title for a song. But that song I really love. And I, and I like it more than Master of Insanity. I know most of you don't. That's why I would love for you to put your track by tracks below. Because I love a different opinion. Uh, Alright, then we got uh, Time Machine versus The Turn of the Screw. Turn of the Screw. Oh, and now it's a tie. Three to three. This is a tough one. Uh, Sins of the Father. Man, do I love that song. Going against Eden the Cannibal. That one's one of the faster ones, but I'm going to give that one uh, Sins of the Father. Okay, then we got uh, Too Late. That's a great one. Versus Follow the Tears. Damn. Follow the Tears and Bible Black are my favorite off here. So I'm going to give it to Follow the Tears. Man, now it's tight again. Woo! Uh, then... Uh, I, I don't even have to look because I is going to win. I is my favorite song from the Black Sabbath era with Dio. But it's going against Neverwhere, another faster one. Great song, but no, I'm giving that one a Dehumanizer. Oh, man, so the last track determines which one wins. It's five to four. I mean, if this one, if this one gets the point, it wins. If this one gets the point, it's a tie. All right, so we got Buried Alive versus Breaking Into Hell. I know which one I'm going for. Definitely know which one I'm going for. The one I went for made it a tie. Breaking Into Heaven is such an amazing song for it to be the last song on the last album that features Ronnie James Dio. I love that song. I you know. Buried Alive is cool too. Kind of reminds me of uh, Zero the Hero a little bit. But Breaking Into, Breaking Into Heaven is my third favorite. It's Bible Black, Follow the Tears, and Breaking Into Heaven. Those are my three favorite tracks off the album. But it was a good battle, man. It was a tie. I did ties. There, that's good. But uh, I like this one more. But hey, man, this one I really do love. I know a lot of people have a problem with this one. And I admit, I will admit, it, it, it's a grower. It's not something I put on first time thinking. But it was one that I'm like, 
I got to keep listening to this because it's Dio and Iommi and Butler and a piece and they never did wrong before as far as, you know, albums. You know, a couple songs here and there on a Dehumanizer I'm not too crazy about, but only two songs really. But uh, I, I dig pretty much every song on this album. But I still like Dehumanizer more because the songs more than make up for the bad songs like I and Computer Gods and TV Crimes, which ended up losing, is one of my favorite on here. And uh, Sins of the Father, Letters from Earth, After All the Dead, Computer God. It's an awesome album. Anyway, thank you so much, Gene Coolin. You rule, brother. I hope I'm making you proud here, man. And uh, hey, if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal below. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll just say this, too. It's Black Sabbath Sunday. I know. I know, I'm aware Sabbath is on a Saturday, but when it's black, it's Sunday. Schmack a gob. For those that use social media, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and you can join the Almost Human 56 Facebook page. All links are in the description below. A lot of you have been asking for it. Schmack a gob merch. Yes, many types of shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it. Plus other stuff like shower curtains and bedspreads and mugs and socks and clocks. And oh, I can go on. But why should I? The link is below. Just click the link below in the description for all the schmack a gob merch. Order yours now. Schmack a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for those who love politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido. Next Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast. And the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatSaddleReview.com or search RatSaddleReview on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.